Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. We're going to discuss why um, Bitcoin, Ethereum 1.0, not 2.0, and other POW blockchains are doomed to fail in the long run. Now, before I say this, I will give the caveat because Bitcoin is the uh, index coin and because large institutions um, have invested in Bitcoin, it will stretch Bitcoin's lifespan to far longer than um, would Bitcoin actually be useful in this world. But why POW uh, blockchains are doomed to fail, and it has really nothing to do with the underlying technology. It doesn't really have to do that they can't handle many transactions per second because there are um, there are honestly new proof of work blockchains that can handle many transactions per second. Um, it actually has to do with the core design of two groups or, or one group of powerful people that basically destroys the whole thing. And that group is obviously miners. I've talked about this on Ethereum before, but it affects Bitcoin as well. And it will affect every other proof of work blockchain that operates like this, where obviously you give miners power because they own a lot of Bitcoin. Uh, submit some, if some of them are node holders, even worse. Now, we've seen how I've said Ethereum's miners basically stopped EIP proposal. I, I forgot what the number was. I think it was like 1599 or something like that where it would have actually reduced Ethereum's congestion. They all voted against it, and even they even threatened uh, to basically not adopt the um, EIP if it passed, because it would actually cut into their mining profits. And especially during times of high congestion, when this proposal would actually help the most, um, that would actually cut down their fees, mostly in those times of high congestion, while still keeping their fees decently high overall. But though they want those mining profits, when the congestion is really high, so they don't want that congestion to end, so they said they would not adopt it even if it passed. That is a major, major problem, as anyone can actually see. Um, but Ethereum's not the only one that has that problem. Bitcoin also has that problem. And that was the last time seen with the Bitcoin SegWit fork. Uh, basically, the SegWit fork, like minor, obviously Seg SegWit was something to reduce kind of like the trend, uh, well, increase how many transactions could actually be included per block by removing some like metadata or something. Obviously, that would actually streamline Bitcoin, but that was also a soft fork that almost did not go through. Because obviously, if you increase the amount of transactions per block, you can actually have more transactions per second, and that would actually make the uh, network harder to congest. Obviously, that was a much, much needed soft fork for Bitcoin because it would actually jam up and not be useful. Miners basically like threatened to, well, they kind of did kind of like not implement it. And there were a, was a lot of going back and forth. Um, and uh, there was even a push for validators to drop those miners that wouldn't actually adopt it. So you can see that was a huge problem because Seg SegWit was actually obviously a great stepping stone forward. It doesn't solve the problem, obviously, but it would double the amount of transactions that Bitcoin could actually handle, still to a pitiful amount, but better than the seven transactions per second. It essentially doubled the amount of transactions from seven to 14, and that would actually make Bitcoin obviously a lot harder to congest. But miners are like, no, that would actually make it hard for us, to, hard, much harder for us to charge exorbitant fees. So they basically tried to uh, stonewall it as long as possible. Now, this next one called Taproot is not as controversial, so you don't have that miner problem. But you know that the problem with Ethereum miners, I mean, Bitcoin miners are going to come up again in the future when they have other proposals to help the congestion problem. Miners are always going to be um, against it because that makes it harder and harder for the network to congest, which actually cuts into their mining profits. Basically, you're putting miners against everyone else. And because miners are how kind of you secure your network, you're always going to be kind of screwed. So that dynamic that miners basically work against the ecosystem, against the developers and against everyone else, basically ensures proof of work to failure. It's not really even the energy requirement. Yes, that's awful, too. And that's another factor. But the miners are a dead end factor that you really can't. Uh, you know that you really, really can't fix because of the way the system's actually set up. They will always activate, uh, act in their own interest, which means they want the network to congest as much as possible. So people have to bid or pay as many as much transaction fees as possible to do the transactions, while the re rest of everyone else hates that. And it makes the blockchain pretty much unusable when the fees get so high. They love it when the fees get really high. The rest of us, we hate it. And it makes it completely unusable for anything in the future. Now, if you want it as a store of value, maybe you can uh, wrestle by that. Although like, 
you know, if it really does get adopted as universal store of value, like universal stores of value generally are used to do some transactions, especially if they're digital. And I've always thought like, a, like a store of value among digital coins was always kind of a weak use case because realistically, any coin that has that much trust can act as a store of value. And if some of these other coins get used for transactions, I think they would actually eventually make more sense as a store than a store of value than Bitcoin. So that's why I think Bitcoin will eventually get overtaken. Not this year, not next year, maybe not even five years, but down the line, it will eventually get taken over because proof of work, because of the division between miners and everyone else, because miners have so much power and they generally vote against the best interests of the blockchain and progress, they eventually will drag the system down to its grave. And that's why Ethereum is moving to proof of stake. And that's why um, a lot of new blockchains that are coming up are not proof of work based. So that is the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.